Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Libra. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, Libra, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. As well, Libra, I would like to ask if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe. I'd really be appreciative of it, Libra, if you were... Oh, wow. Lost Major Arcana. Wow. <laughs> All Major Arcana. Um, we'll get to that. I would really appreciate it, Libra, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Libra, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Uh, as well, Libra, I did your bonus readings, which I'll leave a link to somewhere around here for you to check out if you'd like to check that out. Um, but when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Libra, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. My cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Libra, but never making the decision in your life because it is your life to live and not, not mine and not these tarot cards. So all that being said, let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Libra. So as I was saying, we had a lot of major arcana coming in for you, Libra. And so let's just, I haven't even taken a look at exactly which one, so let's just take a look at them now. Uh, Libra, I pulled some cards just so I could figure out uh, where it is your energy is at at this point. We have the Renewal card, Archangel Jeromeo, number 20 equaling to 2. I'll write these numbers down for numerology, by the way. Uh, we have the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel, number 2 again as well for you, so write that down. As well as these Archangels, because I will just go ahead and say... Um, Obviously, I always will bring up an Archangel Steps Forward in a reading uh, if, you, if your belief system subscribes to that, if your practices are open to that, you know, whatever it is you do, Libra, is not my business, honey, right? So, but I always like to let people know when Archangels are reaching out, right? So you have Jerome reaching out as well as Haniel. We have number six, Archangel Raphael, the Lover's card, with uh, the number eight card, the Justice card, Archangel Raghul. So this is your card, by the way, Libra. This is our card, technically, I guess, uh, the Justice card. So give me a moment, Libra, as I like take this in, because uh, something I just want to note, Libra, is to, like, I make the note of why of all these major arcana, uh, because when you see so many major arcanas, it just really signifies a, a shift, right? And usually, depending on the type of spread, it'll let you know, like, what type of shift you're going through and, like, or where you're going through that transition. And for you guys, uh, Libra, for this to be your overall energy, you guys are really, Libra, going through a very transformative time. Uh, I really, this is usually, like, especially this type of dynamic, you can usually gauge, Libra, that you're probably just learning a lot more about yourself in some aspect. But in this dynamic, dare I say, just overall about who you are, Libra, and like what inspires you and what mo will, will continue motivating you and putting you forward. It's almost like you are um, finally uh, prioritizing things in your life and or reprioritizing things in your life and figuring out like a new hierarchy for where it is you'll extend your energy out to and what certain things mean to you, Libra. So looking at these cards though, for you, Libra, I don't even know which card I want to start with. I feel as if, let's see here. I feel like we're going to put these two cards into, hmm. This, this is just such a difficult choice for me, Libra, because I see tarot as just like a puzzle. And so with all these like major impactful cards, I just am left at this place where I don't quite know where, how this puzzle even begins. I'm trying to find like the corner piece right now for you, Libra. And I'm guessing the corner piece seems to be, I'm going to have to pull a tarot card just to even get a specific. This is crazy. <laughs> 
you guys have been having some relatively intense readings, Libra. I know that much. So, okay. So we're getting the Ten of Swords and the King of Swords. All right. So that's confirming to me that we start with your rene renewal card. And then from there, uh, we get the sense of putting this here and here and here. All right. This makes sense. All right, so we're going to start with your renewal card, Libra. Uh, I'll read off the card, then explain what just what happened right there. <laughs> this card says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts. Time to move on in a new direction. So I was struggling with trying to figure out, I was tossing between this card and um, your intuition card, your high priestess card, Libra, because I wasn't sure if this is a something that's ramping up or more so, Libra, this is what the energy that you're encompassing in the now. When you have it in the now, right now for you, like I pulled the Ten of Swords and King of uh, Swords to kind of get an idea like where your headspace is at. So you guys are really coming into this sense, Libra, as I was saying before. I would just, again, uh, didn't I even say that you were reevaluating Libra, like where it is you're putting your energy? So even the card itself says review and evaluate. It just hit me now. That was completely unintentional. Yeah, it just seems like your priorities have shifted uh, with some things, Libra. And now with this, like you're definitely in your element, but whatever has shifted in your life, it seems to be like with this Ten of Swords here, it notifies to me, Libra, because I associate tens with the closure of things. So the ten being here with the swords, you're overcoming. You're, there's some type of closure that you're that's happening here. That's almost uh, for you, Libra, giving you the freedom or releasing you from the heaviness that you were experiencing that prevented you from going into a new path or just continuing down your path. It just seems like there's something uh, deep rooted in you. Libra that was really making it hard for you to uh just going like that made it hard for you to go forward right but with this king of swords here I don't know you de you Libra you definitely got some closure with a situation here um with this king of swords this lets me know like whatever the situation was that gave you closure that allowed you to shift into a new direction I do get the sense that it was like a sobering i think i even said this for your last reading libra where you experienced something that was very sobering for you uh having to swallow some like i don't want to say swallowing your pride but kind of accepting things as you will and then being like all right well this is where things are at at this point like if you know the king of swords is a very independent energy kings in general are very independent energies and very self-reliant and self-sufficient so it's almost like whatever your situation was that gave you closure Right, that allowed you to go into a new direction, Libra. Uh, it's almost like you identify, be like, oh, okay, I can't rely on this situation here. This isn't stable enough. This isn't whatever. Like, uh, insert adjective here for something that how it just no longer is fitting in your life anymore. That's what it is you identified, Libra. And then this is where you have the King of Wands coming in for you, where the King of Wands is the card of taking that leadership role really taking the initiative and going forward with your life on something and even with the split deck ace of wands comes in as well really signifying you going forward libra so whatever the situation is it was almost like this it's almost like whatever the situation was it's like gave you permission libra to just shine your light brighter and gave you permission to really tap into more of your own independent potential right you still may be working in a team or maybe around people surrounded by people libra but um you're now tapping into a much more empowered role um so definitely does feel like you know for my libras that have been um trying to play themselves down or haven't really been pushing themselves to them and really claiming their power essentially uh definitely this week i feel as if that's going to be coming to an end if it hasn't already started to crumble at that point right i say crumble in a good way for you libra um because i really do just get the sense of like shackles just being removed from you libra that's just allowing you to just do uh so much more so i really enjoy this right it's gonna be a big old reading honey i told you libra buckle up um now we get into your high priestess card the archangel haniel uh this card says listen to your intuition have patience consider what you want before uh consider what you want carefully before acting so with this card libra this is a card of where you know whenever i see the high priestess card coming up this lets me know that the reading itself probably is going to be coming in and serving 
uh, in this case, you, the Libra, as like affirming messages that Tara is telling you. Like, I don't feel as if I'm going to be relaying any type of message that you already didn't have um, suspicions on. So with this Libra, when it comes to, especially with the dynamic of you shifting into this new direction, you shift into this new direction, Libra, as the High Priestess going into your intuition. Um... Let's pull some tarot cards before I speak too boldly, Libra. Um, this lets me know, for those that have been on the fence, though, Libra, on um, being like, oh, I know I need to like take up at this opportunity, or you acknowledge being like, ooh, this could really work over here if I did put energy into this, but you would have to make time for it, right? Or whatever your storyline is. I almost feel as if like you need this is like your affirmation libra to really just do it more like to lean into something more and i i do so many readings libra so you have to forgive me but i feel as if even for your bonus reading that i did for you um i can't help but feel like that was kind of the energy i was telling you to do before i feel confirmed someone confirmed to me it was like asking you to lean into something even more libra um some type of energy that you're feeling something that you already have identified with yourself you may not be able to um like you just have a gut feeling about something you're like this could really work you may not have any type of substantial proof but it's just like a feeling being like no i know this is just gonna hit right i feel like this is just like really your sign of uh libra to go forward with it but enough of my rambling with that right let's get into this high priestess card for you this card said well i already showed the card but the clarifiers i have for it was your six of wands beautiful 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 uh the queen king of pentacles you're getting all the kings libra this is again you're just really claiming your throne right really claiming like and normally i don't like take the extra level uh libra when it comes to like the extra level in that like when i'm identifying being like oh there's a lot of kings and queens here usually i don't take too much note of it uh for the most part but in this dynamic it's really coming on like i can't help but feel like the king energy like regardless of gender, gender honey i mean obviously look at me i don't care about gender <laughs> what have you libra but it does just feel like i can't help but feel like libra you're just becoming more empowered i feel like some of you guys are just straying up your shoulders more nothing may has even seemingly like changed in the outer uh for you libra you just are now the further you lean into like your purpose the more just overall empowered that you're going to feel and just like I don't know. There's just like such a feeling of contentedness that I feel like is uh, starting to wash over you in such a sense of comfort of where it is that you are in the world and really almost being okay with like where your place is and like where what your role is in this world. It sounds so dramatic, but I mean, honey, we had all those major arcanas, right? So, uh, King of Pentacles, I went on that rant and I didn't even finish showing the cards. Uh, and then the Four of Wands for you, Libra. So, with the High Priestess, this is what I was saying, right? There is something here that you already had an identification of where it's just like, you identified your Four of Wands, you identified your portal, your 1111 card, Libra. You already had a gut instinct in being like, mm, I, you know, I probably should be doing this, right? Um, whatever this old situation is that you had to move into a new direction, Libra, you're putting more energy into this and you're like, all right, full blown ahead. And it's almost as if like now, Libra, you're putting all your ducks in this one row because you just like, you know, you're just really swearing on this. You really have a good feeling about this stock, right? And um, this kind of confirms to it as the King of Pentacles. Like you really are sure about how this is going to build up your empire, really build up that stabil stability in your life, whether this is in regards to finances or whether it's in emotions. Though, to be honest, Libra, I don't really, I mean, we're not even getting any cups yet, but um, I don't really feel like this is necessarily like a relationship based for you. I feel like this is more so just, we're speaking about a Libra with extreme passion. Um, in this storyline. And so with the Six of Wands, this is the victory card, public recognition. You guys, Libra, keep on getting this card as well. I know that for a fact, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I, like, it's coming to me more now. It's like, the message that was before for your bonus reading, Libra, was continuing leaning into something. So really uh, take heed to that. Then we have your lover's card coming in here. Number six, this card says intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions and good health. Now I know I just finished saying Libra that I don't feel like this reading is necessarily centered towards some type of relationship reading. And I'm still continuing on with this energy or with that narrative because this I feel like is more so like 
you know, as you tap into your creative side more, let's just say, right? Maybe like more of your Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. The more you lean into that Libra, um, the more it's kind of like the world is your oyster, right? You have so much pent up extra energy. You're just now at this point being like, all right, where do you use, where do you utilize it best, right? Um, there is like this sense of, uh, well, let me just pull some cards before I keep talking, Libra. All right, so four cards came out for you, Libra. So for your lover's card, we have the Three of Swords, the Six of Wands. Follow. What did I just say, Libra? Three of Cups. Let's see. Page of Pentacles, and then the Tower card. So Libra, hmm. the lovers and. So this is the difficult decision that we're talking about here. This is what it is that you're kind of left in this place of how do you handle this, right? And how do you handle this indeed? You also have the Five of Swords. I don't know if I showed that. This card just came out. I don't know if it was stuck along with it. Did I show the Tower card? Honey, a mess. Libra, I can't help but feel like there is like a situation that you don't feel very lovely about. With the Three of Cups here, this lets me know of where... <clears throat> There's something that's like lingering around you that you don't have a really good feeling about, right? With this Five of Swords here, you have, you're kind of associating it with pain and anxiety. Like, you're really in your head about this actually. This is actually taking a weird turn. Libra, and it's almost like this sense of trying to figure out how to handle that situation for you. I feel like this is actually a very specific message for Libras. This because it does definitely feel like this sense, Libra, where it's like whatever has been because with this energy here, there's something here that's like around you in your space that's like for some reason you're trying to figure out how to handle, right? It's almost just like the sense of being like, you have like an infestation, like a rat infestation, and you're just kind of like, oh, how do I handle this, right? And the tower card with the page of pentacles and the six of wands here. Now in this sense, with the page of pentacles and the tower card, I feel like there's almost this sense of drawing or this desire Libra for you to kind of just like, drop a nuke on something and just like um leave because i feel like this kind of even coincides with your card uh with the justice card libra there's something that's in your current space that kind of like clings on to you even still in this moment that i feel um and it may be slightly connected to the renewal card right it may be just like the residual aspects of what it is you're trying to transition from or this may be just foreshadowing libra definitely let me know of where it's just like you're not going to truly be able to finish this transition and come into your own entirely until um this like situation when it comes to that three of cups energy and that three of swords is handled there is something that you just need to like is like really handle page of swords yeah there's just some type of communication libra and I like I don't know if there's just like a closing closing conversation that needs to be had. Seven of Cups, man, Libra, you don't know what to do about it. <laughs> you don't know what to do about this. I've never pulled so many cards before for this. For like, just to clarify something, Libra. But you have the Justice card coming in. It's your card. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So, Libra, like whatever the situation is that you're really like at this indecision, not really knowing how to approach something. Um, you're being naturally called to, obviously, with the card itself, taking a stand to what you're feeling, what it is that you're sensing, right, as the intuition. You're not crazy what it is that you're sensing, Libra, whatsoever. And it's very interesting. I want to pull some final clarifiers for this, though. So we have the Eight of Wands, the Hermit card, and the World card. Huh. Yeah, Libra, I kind of get this sense that you're trying to, well, you're not trying to, but there's like the sense, Libra, that you're trying to just pull yourself away from something and really, 
It's almost like you're identifying some type of cycle coming to a completion. And now, Libra, you're trying to figure out how to go about completing this cycle um, to its fullest, right? With this Justice card here, though, it does lead me to believe like there's something that kind of caused you to be in this hermited state, in this recluse state. Um, from this because it is it's very interesting because it's definitely something that you're like trying to repel but it's still somehow in your space and almost like distracting you now i know i keep on speaking in terms of the dynamic of a person because honestly that is like the most glaring thing like with these cards and the dynamic it's definitely especially with that three of cups and that page of swords it does definitely seem to be like some type of like intimate situation um that just weighs heavy on you libra that you can't quite shake off um but it still could easily be a situation of where it's just like just loose strings not being tight finished up with like an old situation that you invested energies into because do keep in mind libra that we didn't get really any cup cards did we get any? you got a seven of cups worth the indecision but yeah you got no in the three of cups but like you got no other like real emotional cards um so it's all because all your cards for the most part were just major arcanas and um wands and pentacles so it could be really honestly and plus with them all these uh major arcanas honey it could be just all encompassing just things you're trying to release and shutting your old skin uh libra so yeah that's the reading that i have for you what a complex weird reading what a journey that was right libra but uh I'm going to close this reading out, this video out for you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Libra. Um, as well, I do readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Libra. Uh, so if you find, if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, honey, uh, send them my, one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them, Libra. Until next time, though, I love you so much. Bye.